Hello, everybody, and welcome to the second episode of our series, We Are the World Games. My name is Philip Düring, and my guest today is Petr Zhenanski, the fin swimmer from Hungary. It's uh, an honor for us to have you here because uh, one could say uh, you were one of the stars of the World Games 2017 in Rotslav, uh, where you won two gold medals with two world records. Um, <laughs> it's very nice to have you here today. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. And for everyone who is not familiar with fin swimming, could you quickly explain um, what is fin swimming? Yes, of course. Um, so the most important equipment is uh, the fin or fins, with which uh, we can uh, swim considerably faster than swimmers in classical form. Uh, fin swimmers use uh, snorkel to respire for uh, surface swimming and for breathe swimming and for underwater swimming um, the fin swimmers use uh, compressed air subaqua equipment uh, except for 50 meter apnea because uh, competitors accomplish that distance uh, with only one breath so to sum up um, there are three disciplines in fin swimming, uh, surface swimming, underwater swimming, and uh, bathing swimming. Uh, and if you would like to know more about it, uh, you can check uh, my uh, website because it's available in English and uh, there are a lot of videos about it and it's easier to imagine it. Uh, uh, and your favorite discipline is uh, bifins. Uh, do you do only bifins or do you other disciplines as well sometimes? Um, I, um, I swim in the relay uh, usually. So I, I like to swim with, with uh, monofins too. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, I uh, practice um, uh, in my trainings and uh, in um, in the national competitions, but uh, I, I I am more talented in uh, biffins, so so that that is my my main uh, uh, event and uh, discipline. At the moment, uh, so we are at the end of April. Um, the world of sports is has stopped more or less around the world, and uh, uh, in the, our last episode, we talked to powerlifter Raya Stim. For her, it was uh, quite uh, easy to train because she just moved all her weights and equipment to her own garage. I guess it's a bit more difficult for you as a swimmer. How do you cope with the situation at the moment? Mm, yes, uh, unfortunately, uh, I can't swim. So I'm trying to keep my shape as much as possible uh, without swimming. So I do a lot of exercises at home and uh, I go jogging and cycling. But uh, I think in this period, the most important thing is to remain flexible. So I, uh, I, I do a lot of stretching, stretching and uh, yoga too. So you haven't been to a pool for a couple of weeks. Do you miss water and being in water? Yes, sure. <laughs> I I would like to go back, <laughs> and uh, and that that is my second home. So I I really miss miss it. So I I hope um, I I will be able to swim soon. So, can you tell us um, when did you start uh, with fin swimming? And did you start with fin swimming right away, or did you start as a normal swimmer? Yes, uh, uh, we can we can call it uh, because uh, because um, obviously I uh, uh, started uh, uh, with uh, classic classic swimming techniques, but um, I started fin swimming when I was seven because uh, my par parents uh, wanted us, I mean uh, me and my sisters, to uh, learn how to swim. Um, and because uh, the Debreceni Buva Club, uh, in English, uh, the diving club uh, of Debrecen, is a typical fin swimmer uh, club. So I think it was meant to be. And, uh, and plus, uh, 
when I um, I I saw first uh, fin swimmers in the water, um, I uh, I thought they are like mermaids, and uh, what kid doesn't like mermaids? <laughs> so I wanted to try it, and um, when I tried it, I I really enjoyed it. So. Uh, I think that was love at the first sight, and uh, since since that moment, uh, I have been addicted to it. That sounds great. Uh, <laughs> should we have a look at uh, the first final from Rotslav together, and maybe you can tell us a bit about uh, the experience of the World Games and how the race went. And here is the champion, Petra Sanansky. It will take a miracle for anyone to beat her. She's in superb form at the moment, just 23 years old. She's in three... That was uh, my best competition ever, I think. I had been tra training uh, really hard for that uh, competition. So it was uh, the, that feeling uh, which, which I, I searched. Uh, and uh, which, which I really enjoy when uh, when I, when I uh, I jump into the water and it's it's just a swimming and uh, I do all my best and all power in it and uh, I can show uh, how much uh, I uh, trained. For that. <laughs> and it's frenetic activity. And again, Sananski does well. Pikinair is right there as well. But just look at Sananski. It's so smooth. It's beautiful. Out in lane one, though. Look at Chen Chao Ying. But, uh, well, it's really good. That is a comprehensive victory. Absolutely superb. 20.52. Sananski was certainly deemed to be the favourite from the start. And just look at that beaming smile. Expectation is really tough, isn't it? But she has delivered. And her parents will be jumping up and down, I know. And do will... you remember um, the race, how it went, um, how you felt during the race? It was, it was very short. <laughs> So it it uh, it feel, uh, felt like uh, one second second. So I I really can't uh, remember what happened <laughs> during the race, but uh, but I remember I uh, I was very very fast and I I felt it. So I I felt it. Okay, this this will be the best time ever so <laughs> for me i mean was it already during the race that you felt it could be a new world record mm, i i wanted uh, to be a world record <laughs> to, uh, so uh, i don't know i i felt it i i uh, was the first so that was my main goal to be first to be first and uh, uh, reach the the wall first, so uh, that was very uh, happy moment for me. How much do you uh, notice of the other competitors, of the other swimmers during the race? Do you just go for yourself, or do you see okay, there's one on the right, uh, right or on the left side that is close? How is that during the mm -hmm. race? Mm, uh, I I. Um, prefer to focus on myself so i i uh, want to uh, really focus just on myself in and um, and uh, and and motiv motivate myself so i i, I don't uh, uh, see other competitors uh, or i i Really, I don't want to look at uh, other competitors. <laughs> can you be a professional fin swimmer? Uh, can you make enough money to make a living as a fin swimmer? No, I, I wouldn't say. Uh, but um, but uh, maximum three or four uh, fin swimmers in Hungary um, can earn money from fin swimming. But uh, it's not, uh, uh, but it's not a constant thing. Uh, I mean, uh, only after the World Games we can get money, and uh, and it's it's a one-time payment. So 
it's not not a lot <laughs> but uh, it's better than nothing you already uh, told us that uh, in Rotslav this was a, maybe the greatest moment of your career um, mm -hmm. I'm interested in what was the worst moment in, in your career maybe the worst loss or just the worst moment mm -hmm. Uh, I, uh, 2017 was a little bit uh, confusing year because uh, in that year I think uh, my greatest moment and my toughest moment uh, were uh, uh, I mean in the same age, uh, same year so uh, because uh, in March, my uh, my mother passed away, and uh, and that was was the the worst thing uh, that ever happened to me. So so after my uh, with with the support of my coach and with the support of my family and friends. Uh, I uh, was uh, really happy that uh, I uh, I could win World Games twice with the World Records. So, so it was a confusing year for me, but uh, but uh, after all, it I mean uh, I, I I I reached my goal, so it was a good year. And there was only a few months before the World Games. Um, was it that um, uh, the death of your mother made it harder to go to training or that uh, fin swimming helped you to manage with it and uh, go on? Uh, both of it, I think. Uh, it, it was hard to uh, uh, keep uh, and go trainings uh, uh, too, but uh, but yes, I think uh, trainings uh, helped me too. So uh, I think it, it with sport it was uh, it was a little bit easier, but not not so much. <laughs> Let's get back to Rotslav and have a look at the second race, uh, okay. the hundred meter bifin race. There's a big crowd of Hungarian fans here, and Petra Sonanski is the world record holder at 45.69. She, in fact, is the world record holder in half this distance in the bifin at 20.52 as well. Uh, the day after the uh, 50 meters race, um, the first day, the first race went very well for you. Uh, how did you feel before the second race? Uh, I was like, uh, I, I won a gold medal <laughs> uh, one, one day uh, ago, so I was uh, not calm, but but it, I don't know, I, I felt uh, confidence, more confidence. Here we go, world record, 45.69 to beat, there is potential to beat that. Thank you, Mark. Watch out, lane four, lane three, lane five. They are the center, and just look at that smooth. Oh, look at her go already. You cannot believe Petra Sonanski's early, early drive out without any real problem at all. In lane two, it's Karina, Anna Karina of Russia. Surely we're not going to see a big, big upset here, are we? Sonansky just about, and now she goes, now she goes, look at this, it's a glorious vision, isn't it? What a wonderful dream swim this. Petra Sonansky comes to the wall and she cruising home. That is not a power play, that is absolutely gloriously smooth. 45-16, it is a world record, I told you there might be one. And indeed she's done it with unbelievable ease. How does she do that? You mentioned that uh, it, for the 50 meters, it was like a second, it was very short. So this is a mm -hmm. bit longer. Do you have a race plan for, for the 100 meters or do you just go uh, full power from start to end? I, I, no, I don't. Uh, I mean, uh, there is a, 
a slight uh, slight difference between uh, 50 meter and 100 meter technique but uh, uh, they are they are the uh, 100 meter is uh, short too so uh, full power is the the plan <laughs> so. I did some swimming when I, I was young, and uh, but I quit after two or three years in the club because I kind of realized that I don't really love being in the water. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, and, uh, you're not uh, only <laughs> in the water, but uh, even under the water. Um, do you really love being underwater? Yes, but... Uh... As, as I mentioned, uh, uh, bivet swimming and uh, surface swimming, it's not under the water, it's uh, on the surface. So, but I like, of course, uh, my uh, parents always uh, uh, say that uh, when I was a kid, uh, I, I really liked to be in the water. And could you uh, say one sentence? Where is the fascination of um, of fin swimming in one sentence? Uh, I think uh, because of its speed and the uh, spectacle, and the uh, fins are so powerful and uh, yes, fascinating. So I think it's a it's a really good sport, and uh, there are a lot of uh, great sportsmen and. Uh, and Finn swimmers are really friendly and it's a great uh, community. Um, now, uh, to come to the end, you said that the World Games 2017 in Wroclaw uh, were, were, were special for you. And can you say a bit more what was special about the, the World Games? Uh, because the, that's the highest. Uh, competition. I mean, the most uh, pres pres prestigious. Uh, like it's like uh, it's like Olympic Games for us, uh, non-Olympic, a uh, non-Olympic uh, non um, sportsman. So, so that atmosphere was really good, and and I was uh, uh, at the opening ceremony. And uh, that was amazing. And I had, uh, I had the the flag of uh, Hungary too. So it's it's a it's a great memory, and uh, it it was a really great competition. So I I hope uh, in Birmingham it will be the same, or it will be more <laughs> more good. Uh, I mean better if it's possible. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, um, after the Olympics, the World Games as well had to be postponed for a year. But um, can we count uh, uh, on seeing you in Birmingham 2022? Yes, of course. Uh, I'm trying to uh, swim uh, faster than in 2017. <laughs> so yes, I've, uh, I am training for that. So. Um, we will look forward to see you there and uh, thank you very much thank for the you. interview. It was uh, very interesting and good luck and all the best. And uh, we hope that you uh, can soon be in and underwater again. Thank you. Thank, thank you so you. much. Bye bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.